All right, cool. We got a really good one for you guys today. Anybody else have any wins that they want to share? Beth, Cheryl. I know Cheryl has a lot of wins. Matt, um, Matt has some wins. I went, I went out of town and stayed in all my guidelines. So that's really good. That's Make, huge. Pro that's proper awesome. planning, big planning uh, was so we were successful. What, how did you, how were you the most successful? Tell us some tips. What did you do that? Uh, you? Well, we went out of town and it was a 14, 13 and a half, 14 hour drive. So literally all of our food was put into my fitness pal before we left snacks were made. So everything wow. was done on the way there. Um, and then when we got there, we got a little kitchenette in the hotel that we got and I brought my air fryer. So wow. We had a little yeah. fridge, so we were able to, you know, cook every meal so we didn't have to go eat garbage or anything like that. So um, we did really well, and it was because we planned it out instead of just going and trying to wing it, you know, because then you just fail and eat like shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, you really, really brought up a really good point. When you're traveling, it's all about pre-planning, guys. Because 100%. What, what we're going to talk about today, the food industry. The food industry doesn't care about your leanness and goals. They care about mm -hmm. what's convenient and what tastes really, really good. And usually that isn't what is the best for you, especially shelf, shelf life, things that are processed, things that are profitable for food industries, usually are very processed, so they last longer. So that way you could just drop in, grab something that's processed, and usually that's not in alignment with your goals. So the fact that Beth was like, guess what? I'm going to take initiative. I'm taking my own hands. I'm going to pre-plan. So she was successful. Good job. Everybody take some good notes on that. Anybody else want to share another win? We have root. We have time for one more. Cheryl, you want to share anything? Yeah. Um, it was a, a good like 12 days of clean eating and I lost about six pounds. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> We're not used to having people that actually like. That is so awesome. Everybody give her a fist bump through the screen. But, but I, the only bad thing is that I had like my first, like the first thing that broke me with the clean eating is they had churros at work and I had a churro. <laughs> oh. Does anybody want to tell, tell her what to do when you accidentally, or you just go off plan? What happens? What do you do when you go off plan? Just keep going. I just just make it up your next meal. There you go. Just like, yeah. continue moving on, give yourself grace, give yourself passion, shake it off. And you're only one healthy meal away from getting back on track. I've been saying awesome. that to myself. So that's good. Good. Cool. Don't ever beat yourself up or, or anything like that. Everybody here has made is not perfect and everybody's making great progress. It's not about perfection. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to share the screen. Um, give me a thumbs up. If you guys can see the screen, it should be nice and orange. And then now there's a PowerPoint on there. Okay, you have to admit, for some reason, there's a, there's a, yeah, I see that. you see that? Okay. Okay, just make sure you let people in the room. Okay, and I'm going to go remind everybody and then I'll join you in helping present cool. it. All right, we got a really fun one today. Hope everybody's excited. So why it's so easy to overeat junk food and three ways to stop. This is a big one. So can't resist the chips, cookies, and ice cream. I feel you. It's normal to feel out of control with that. These foods are designed to make us overeat. So here's how it works and what to do about it. So today's hyper palatable foods can leave us feeling sick if we eat too much of them, out of control, constantly craving more, and these are created like that by design. So processed foods are scientifically engineered to be irresistible and easy to gobble up in large quantities. And if you can't stop, the chips are doing their job. That's what they were made to do. All right, so what are processed foods? They're modified from their original whole food form in order to change their flavor, texture, or shelf life. All altered so they hit as many pleasure, pleasure centers as possible from our brains to our mouth to our stomach. 
right? There's people in labs working on how do we make sure people really dig this and eat a lot of it and get hooked on it. So corn as an example, corn on the cob, it's pale yellow, kind of fibrous, but chewy, tastes good. Then we've got the tortilla, it's processed, ground into a meal, and then shaped into a flat disc, turns into a soft corn tortilla. And then we've got a corn chip, so ultra processed, removes all the fiber, isolates the starch, and then uses that starch to make a little ring shaped chips, which are fried and dusted with sweet and salty barbecue powder and freaking delicious, right? So how processed foods trick us into eating more than we meant to. Marketing as healthy. These are called halo foods, foods that are processed foods that contain buzzwords like organic, vegan, gluten-free on their label to create an illusion or halo of health around them. So in big portions equaling good deal. So we've been taught to save money, not waste food. The health tax is a toll you pay for eating low nutrient, highly processed foods. Eating them consistently over time, you'll pay the price with your health. We see it all the time. So, and variety makes us hungrier. When you go to a self-serve frozen yogurt topping bar, you got sprinkles, mini peanut butter cups, granola clusters, crushed cookies, cheesecake chunks, and we have all that variety, so we have even more of an appetite. So, on the other side of that, it's hard to eat tons of one thing, like, how many apples could you eat in a row before you just got burnt out on it, right? It'd be pretty hard to do 3,000 calories of apples in a sitting. Like, we just don't do that, right? But it's easy to smash out a, a box of donuts or a box of cookies, right? So, stimuli stacking, multiple flavors at once are irresistible. We've got sugar, fat, and salt all combined. So the big five, all food manufacturers use this technique. These things are calorie dense, so they're high in sugar and or fat, intensely flavored, so they deliver strong flavor hits, immediately delicious, uh, love at first taste experience, easy to eat, usually no effort in chewing, swallowing needed, literally like melts in your mouth and can quickly be overconsumed. And then why do we like fat and sugar? So it starts in our primitive roots of taste examples. So sugar, babies and kids are attracted to sweets because the immune systems cannot recover from eating poisonous plants. So they can't tell the difference between a dangerous bitter green like hemlock and a safe bitter green like kale. Kids have built-in mechanisms to prevent death by poisoning. So that's why they like the, the sweet stuff. And then fats, it's high calorie. It's a jackpot for our often threatened by starvation ancestors. So the primitive hunter-gatherer people would find a macadamia nut tree and that would be enough calories to, to keep the tribe fed and from starving. So our body just naturally wants those things. It's evolution's gift now working against us. So what to do next? Be kind, curious, and honest. So kind, be friendly and self-compassionate. Work with yourself instead of against yourself. Curious, explore your habits with openness and interest. And then honest, look at your reality. How are you behaving day to day around food? And then identify what's called traffic light systems for food. So we have our red foods. So red's gonna mean stop. Doesn't help you achieve your goals. Processed foods like chips, candy, ice cream, pastries. Foods you're potentially allergic to that you can even get diarrhea, gas, and vomiting, swelling, can't sleep, all that stuff, but we end up doing it anyway sometimes. <clears throat> yellow foods, meaning we want to proceed with caution, so bread, crackers, pasta, flavored yogurt, granola bars, seasoned nuts, and then green, these are going to be the go-to foods, so makes your body and mind feel good. These are going to be lean protein sources, beans, legumes, raw nuts, seeds, and whole grains. 
So put quality above quantity. So quality foods are nutrient dense and minimally processed foods that you like and make sense for your schedule and budget. So focus on whole foods. Processed foods make us feel high. Whole foods make us feel nourished and content. And then we have to disrupt the cycle of trigger, eat, and reward. So when you're triggered to eat and not hungry, choose an activity, getting some fresh air, social interaction, playing with a dog, playing a game, painting your nails, something other than a food related activity as a reward. And then slow down. It's much easier said than done. Just allow yourself to eat whatever you want. Just eat slowly and mindfully. It makes us satisfied with less. So it lets physical sensations of fullness catch up. Sometimes we can eat something so rapidly that we've already consumed a bunch of it before the sensations even catch up that, hey, we're full or, or way beyond full. And then ask for help. You know, anytime you're, if you're hitting a cycle and, and, and stuck something on, uh, stuck somewhere, then reach out to your coach or the group to, to talk about it. Because that's one of the reasons we track the numbers. We're, we're tracking behavior patterns, helping you identify situations, environments, behavior patterns that sometimes when you're in them, you don't see, but from the outside perspective, so we can help you see those and identify those so, so we can make some tweaks and changes. And then figure out what are your traffic light food. So red light foods are gonna be foods that are just for the most part bad news. They make you sick or lose control of eating, cake, protein bars for me, cereals probably in there for me too, chips, cookies, and then we've got the yellow light foods. So sometimes okay, sometimes not. So nuts, granola bars, Halo Top ice cream. The thing with like nuts is a lot of, and, and granola bars, we think again, you know, they fall into the category of, oh, that's healthy, but it's also very calorie dense. Like a couple handfuls of nuts, people are like, oh, I'm health, healthy, I'm eating almonds. Well, there's a lot of fat content in those nuts and they can add up really quickly. So even though, we're eating healthy, we can still overconsume a lot of calories and with healthy foods. So just something to be aware of, take note of. And then we got our green light foods that make you feel good mentally, physically, and that you can eat normally, slowly to an easy 80% full. All right, so each person go around and share what are your, I want to hear what your, your red light foods are. So I'm going to go ahead and ask Jody, you're on here, you're unmuted. What are some of your red light foods, foods that you know, they're just bad news? <laughs> Everything I like, no. Um, oh, are you listening to the program? Yeah, um, probably the... Uh, for me, it would be chips. All right. Got it. And then what are some, uh, what are some green light foods? Foods that make you feel good mentally, physically, and that are good for you. Um, actually, I didn't realize it, but eating a little bit of the almonds uh, really helped me get full. I didn't, uh, I'm struggling with this being new to it. Sure. Uh, because the water and the food, the water fills me up, so I'm having trouble eating all the food. And when I eat the food, then I don't drink all the water. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. You're, you're, you're doing, you're doing awesome. We're just in the first, first few phases. So make sure you're getting your water in. Cause sometimes you're, getting, right. you're actually really thirsty. Yeah. Cause a but, lot of the, steak, the, the, hunger for the turkey, the sliced turkey is probably my green light food. Good. Very good. I like it. All right. Beth Ann, what do you got? What are some red light foods for you? 
Some red, yellow, and greens. How long do I have to tell you about all my red foods? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a chef, so anything I can cook, like pot pies, but mostly I would say chips. My bad thing was... While I was cooking, I'd roll out a bag of something crunchy, whether it was like popcorn or chips or, and uh, rice cakes were bad because I was like, oh, well, it's a rice cake. And then, you know, and then it's not good when you eat the whole bag. So uh, those are definitely my red light foods. And then green light foods, I can eat greens all day long. Just give me some greens with vinegar or lemon and a little salt. And every day I'm eating greens, lettuce, kale, spinach, mixed greens, all of it. I can go down with some greens. That is awesome. Cause you can take in so much volume and be really full with very low calories. That That's way. right. And I got my scissors to cut all of them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, Cheryl, tell me what are some red light foods for you? Red, yellow, and green for you. Okay, there we go. Um, so red light foods, definitely potato chips, tortilla chips, chips. I love chips. Um, but um, yeah, I've been doing good at not eating them lately. So, um, and then the green light or yellow light, like I love the fruity yogurts. So I've been trying to go from like Yoplait to like Greek yogurt and like plain yogurt and then just adding the fruit on top of it, which has been good. Oh, and like a little bit of like, like pecans. It's delicious. <laughs> so that's been a really good snack. Um, but green light foods, I love vegetables, broccoli, roasted broccoli with even just a little bit less olive oil than I used to use, um, Brussels sprouts. Um, cucumber and tomatoes on sandwiches. It's so good. And spinach. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. And like Beth was talking about, she brought her air fryer with her on vacation. The air fryer can do magical things for vegetables. That's and awesome. What you can do is like put them in there and then just spray it with a little calorie free Pam spray. That way we don't have the extra calories of, of the oil in there. And then use like some uh, some spices, and it's awesome. Yeah, let's try that. Change the game with vegetables. Love it. Very cool. All right. Uh, hi. What are some red light foods for you? Red, yellow, oh. and green for you. Man, red for me is uh, when I like eating out, eating Asian food. You know, always have that steamed rice. So um, that's a lot of sugar, and uh, it's hard to escape. Um, uh, yellow for me, uh, I like the, like some of that Chobani yogurt, you know, with some granola, but not eat too much of it. <laughs> um, but, uh, for me, green light, I think, uh, some salmon, some fresh salmon I, I like to put in for dinner and then I'll, I'll just eat some asparagus and stuff with it. I love that stuff. So, yeah. Cool. And hi, uh, Hyde's got a really awesome challenge coming up what if you want to share what it is hi your challenge oh uh, yeah i'm gonna do a 30 day no alcohol challenge tomorrow starting tomorrow for the month of october so yeah i think that'll uh that'll help a lot with uh, my calories i'm excited to be able to eat a little bit more without the you know alcohol calories awesome man proud of you dude thanks all right let's see who else we have here? Matt, what are some red light foods for you? Red light foods would be any baked. Mm, as you know, I'm a chef also and all the desserts we bake and make and things like that. Just being around uh, that type of stuff. But I'm well attuned to not eating it even though I'm around it. Um, I do have a bad habit of wanting to just eat the chocolate chips when making the cookies and stuff. So uh, I make sure to keep those out of sight till I'm ready to pour them into the mix. But um, uh, yellow foods be like my almonds um, and like the uh, uh, light yogurts, uh, Greek yogurts. Um, green foods definitely be the tuna, grilled chicken, 
ground turkey, uh, all the vegetables. I can't even name all the vegetables I eat. Um, I'm really hooked on like a large apple with cinnamon sprinkled over it as a good snack for my cinnamon apple or a banana with a little bit of diced or crushed pineapple, which I make that. <laughs> so, you know, that gives you the sweetness so you get that satisfaction where your brain's tricked into thinking you're getting the sweets without, you know, overindulging and it keeps the calories low and you're just, you know, you get filled up on it. Awesome, man. Love it. All right. Chris Groupie, what are some red light foods for you? Uh, my main red light food would be ice cream. Ice cream with chocolate chips in it or any kind of cookies in it or but I can't stop eating that stuff. <laughs> but my yellow light foods would be probably almonds or pistachios. I can eat those all day. And green light foods would be chicken breast, mushrooms and some bell peppers and wrap it in a tortilla, low carb tortilla or yeah, that's about it. Sounds awesome. Love it. All right, uh, Dusty, what do you have? What are your red, yellow, and green foods? Uh, any food for me can be a red light food. <laughs> I am a, a big eater, so I can, I can, I always used to say I can get fat on vegetables, and indeed I can, uh, but I would say that my true red light foods would be think, chips, um, and even though I make a lot of uh, very low calorie goodies, I, I can overeat those too. Um, my yellow light is probably the things like I make frozen yogurt um, and, uh, and guacamole <laughs> and, uh, and green light, certainly any Vegetables, uh, as far as protein goes with vegetables, um, I do a lot of roast, roast a lot of vegetables. Um, my green light food for lunch is typically a plain Greek yogurt with fruit, uh, strawberries, and, um, and then chicken breast is, is usually very good for me too. Great, love it. All right. Let's see, uh, Jamie, what are your red, yellow, and green light foods? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. My red light foods would be pizza and chips and dip, stuff like that. I don't really have a, <clears throat> a, anything in my head that tells me to slow down or stop. And then the, the yellow foods would be probably uh, guacamole and peanut butter. I easily overdo it on those. And then uh, green light foods, grilled chicken and uh, salad, any type of spinach, whether it's cooked or raw, cooked or raw spinach is my favorite. Awesome, love it. Those all sound good, getting me hungry. Susan. My red light foods are um, cake, cookies and uh, pie. My yellow is um, probably, um, uh, yogurt and my green are shrimp and squash uh, tomatoes and okra awesome love it all right let's see who do we got next joe hey oh uh man ain't nothing like a hot fresh donut I don't know if none of y'all have ever had one, but 5.30 in the morning, fresh out the, oh my God, it melts in your mouth, no chewing required. Rob, you know exactly what I'm talking about because you described it perfectly. Um, also, uh, like chips, I'm a chip connoisseur. Uh, yeah, not really, but I, I love chips. I can overdo it real quick. Um, uh, green light foods, uh, so there's a, a broccoli Normandy blend in a steamable bag you can get at Sam's. And they're literally a pound each. I could eat the whole thing with like a little bit of salt on it. I, I could eat the whole thing. And uh, they're, oh my gosh, 
It's so good. And, uh, and I mean, it doesn't need any sauce or nothing, just salt and, and a pound of veggies. And uh, I also really like eggs. Um, that's something I can just do a whole lot of. So, but that may also be yellow because you could probably overdo it with a, with a whole egg. So anyway, that's, that's me. Awesome. Love it. All right, let's see who else we have. Chris's iPhone. Chris Kane. Rob, can you hear me now? Yep. Hey, you guys have said some amazing stuff. Like, uh, oh, I agree with so much of that. Like, uh, one, one of the things that wasn't said, though, in the red light area was pizza. I mean, I'm a pizza guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Talk about throwing portion control right out the window. Um, yeah. I mean, I'll, I, I still dream about it sometimes. But, uh, um, you know, high, like, uh, I wanted to encourage you going into sober October, man. Like, I, I know that, um, you know, how tough it can be, especially in a social situation. But uh, I work in beer, and um, uh, I, I know that beer has been a red light thing for me a bunch of empty calories for sure um yellow light nuts nut nuts are amazing something to easily overdo but um uh, i've heard a lot of great green light things one, one of the things that uh, i look forward to in my meal plan is tuna um you know i know it's a little fishy but uh get so much protein and so much filling out of you know less calories i, I really look forward to the days when I see tuna on the, the meal plan. Awesome. Love it, man. Love it. All right. Let's see who we got here. Consuelo. Awesome to see you here. What are your red light foods, yellow light foods, green light foods? Consuelo, are you there? Yeah, sorry. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, so definitely, I'm not. I'm, I like to have a habit of making sure I socialize, regardless of what. I love beer. That is very big for me to binge on because you know you're in a social atmosphere and you kind of forget. And of course, I'm a big candy person, and Halloween is not helping. So I will. I'm a candy connoisseur, and I love beer. So those are my biggest uh, red foods. And of course, my middle would be protein bars. I have the thing. The almond butter bars and granola bar are good in portion, but if it's going to come to me, if I can't eat the candy, then I have a bad, bad with granola bars. Um, also with the occasional not so multi-grain bagel, but still the bagel and adding that whipped cream, that cream on it. So those are my yellows. My greens are everything, honestly. Um, I love lean meats. I love healthy almond butter fats like spreads. I love vegetables. I love um, berries, all kinds of fruit. My favorite food is tuna and salmon, um, chicken. I can put chicken on, I'll put it on everything. And I live on broccoli and asparagus. So those are my foods. Awesome. All right, let's see. Who do we got next? Mickey. Red light foods. Trammy said Tootsie Rolls. No, the fruit Tootsie Roll, the flavored ones. Uh, I ate them. Hey, I, I've I solved the problem. There's no more there because I ate them all. Anyways, <laughs> um, probably just candy. I like candy. You know that. Uh, water burger. I haven't had water burger in like a couple months. Nice. And I'm, I mean, you know how you don't understand how hard that is. But um. Yeah. Just uh, eating out candy, um, that's big, probably red. Yellow or yellow light would be ice cream, nuts. Um, yeah, I, I, I've been doing a lot of like flavored yogurt lately. So I'm going to stick away from that. I got that, oh, that, that zero yogurt, whatever that, I don't know the brand name, but I've been sticking with that. Uh, green, I mean, chicken, tuna, and vegetables. So that's why I can just con I can honestly just live on that. That's what I'm about to eat right now. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. Cool. All right. Let's see. Who else we got? Uh Luis. 
Luis, red, yellow, green light foods. What's up, buddy? What's up? Not much, but uh, red light foods. Uh, pretty much any ethnicity, man. Chinese food, Mexican food, Italian food. It's anything with some carbs and protein and just some sauce, man. Super good. Um, but more importantly, man, uh, I think the big one is just like the drinking, man. That's like the, the weekend drinking, you know, because that always leads to a lot of other red light foods. So it's like red light drinks lead to red light foods. Um, yellow light foods, sometimes okay. Um, let's see which ones. Uh, rice cakes are really good. Um, I usually eat a lot of those. Um, trying to think of some yellow light ones. But the green light foods, um, smoked chicken. I do a lot of smoked chicken. So um, that's really, really good. Um, squash. I've been doing a lot of squash, like sauteed squash and smoked chicken. That's been like my good green light food. So awesome. Love it. So I heard a lot of people mention chips and I don't know if I've told you guys about it. Like if anyone's like a Funyun fan, they have, uh, there's Kim's Pops. They're uh, yellow light food. They, they are yellow light food, but it can be a good substitute for chips because like a rice cake, for example, a plain rice cake is like 35 calories. Uh, a Kim's Pop is only 15 calories and they're pretty awesome. You can uh, check those out on Amazon. They have uh, the cheddar ones, really good. They're 15 calories. Also the, the, uh, the onion ones are 15 calories. They're pretty awesome. I discovered if anyone's in uh, Texas, they have them at HEB for any, anyone that has an HEB in their area. But yeah, you can get them on Amazon too. So they're pretty awesome. They can be a yellow light food for sure. I think they might be, are they red for you? They're for, yellow for me. They're yellow for Trammy. All right, awesome. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Anybody have any questions about anything? Any questions about anything? Do you guys like this train today? Was this helpful? I have um, I have a comment. This is Susan. <clears throat> if uh, I ordered um, Magic Spoon uh, cereal, frosted cereal, and it comes in four boxes, it'll take me forever to eat that. Um, so if there's anybody in the Oklahoma City area that would like some, well, let me know because now I just saw they put a, an email out that. You can get a variety um, pack instead of all of them have to be the same. So um, let me know if anybody's interested in getting Magic Spoon cereal. Uh, yeah. It's really good, but careful, it's yellow light. Yeah, careful, yeah. It's definitely a yellow light that can be a... It's better, it's better than a lot of other spoons. Yeah. I would say, yeah, I would take it, but then that, that'd be bad. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be gone really fast. There, there was a gal uh, on here that was talking about the water food ratio, like having trouble with that. I just had a tip because I struggled with that the first couple weeks too. When I get up in the morning, I take 75% of my water and that's how I push it as hard as I can right when I wake up. I mean, I'm peeing forever until the afternoon, but that is that helps me tremendously great tip love that anyone else have, have anything uh they have questions about that's a good idea thank you i appreciate that absolutely love this group you guys are doing so awesome don't forget to do the accountability check yeah, and guys, be sure to get your, your daily accountability check-in each day. It's just in the Facebook group. Yeah, in the Facebook group. Yeah, guys, make sure you're, we're, you're taking the daily practice to make sure every day you're focusing on one win, your gratitude, and what your focus is tomorrow. These are the questions that Rob and I ask ourselves every single day. So the reason why we do that is, first, how did your day go? So you have to evaluate how you day, your day go. You force yourself 
two seconds to think about how you, how you did, did and what you could learn from your day. And then number two, gratitude. We always have to be filled with gratitude or else we, we become an empty shell. You know, we have to be gr grateful for things. We have to show appreciation. We're in a culture where it's always go, go, go. We're not good enough. Perfectionism. So we have to stop and just enjoy the things that we have that we, we love, right? That we're grateful for. And then thirdly, was your focus tomorrow? So it forces you to pre-plan what your focus is tomorrow. So you guys can just make posts in the group. You don't have to comment on my post. Just make the post. And also it's for accountability. And then number two, it's also to encourage one another too. It's group accountability, but it's to encourage one another. Like we're all in it on a journey. And if you guys want to go far, we go together. If you want to go fast, you go alone. So that's a quote that is going, that's why our, this group is so successful. So much uh, progress that everybody's making. Everybody here is just making massive progress. Just keep it going, especially when motivation fails. We all hype each other up and keep it, keep it going. All right. Cool. All right. That's all I have. Yeah. If you guys, if you don't have any other questions, then crush the rest of your week. We've got really good training for you guys on Saturday. Yeah, we love making these for you guys. We always just take what you got, what struggles you guys are currently having and make it into trainings for you. So that way we always level up. Our goal here is to teach you guys these lifelong skills so you don't need a coach barking at you. Eat this, don't eat that. You know internally what decisions to make. You never have to hire a coach again. A lot of people stay with us for the accountability, but you don't need to, you'll know exactly what to do, right? You'll know this lifelong skill to stay fit for life. All right, guys, have an amazing evening. Get you some dinner in. Talk to you guys soon. All right, bye guys.